Hey guys, it's me, LaFizz. And, and hi, it's, it's Fi. Red's Mass here. Um, we're doing an actual little tour of his his little area. Um, I thought I'd show you guys around here now. So, why don't you give us a bit of a guided tour? Okay, let's start by jumping down a hole. Okay then. Whee! Very nice little shortcut. Yeah, well, basically, my original idea down here was to basically do Nether in the Overworld. But since we got all the Guardian stuff, it's going to be changed into like a blue temp underground temple thing. Cool. And hence why I stopped finishing it. Fair enough. The down that end is just an iron collection area for Iron Farm. Nothing exciting. And then here will be the Mega Sheep Farm eventually. I do like all the coloured wool. I need to set myself yeah. up one of these. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just something I've. I will probably finish it when I actually have a need for all the different colours. Yeah, that's fair enough. Actually, looking at it destroys my frame rate. Yeah, this is probably going to destroy some of your frame rate as well. Just a chicken cooker. It's not as bad as the sheep. To be fair, this one doesn't infinitely generate chickens. Yeah. To make itself, yeah. Well, the one that spawns. That one's actually a sensible one. Yeah, but mine's more sensible because it generates enough chicken for me to have a surplus plus what I need. I love this. Also, stairs. this was, this doesn't work in the new update. Oh. It, it will just suffocate the stones, uh, the, the switches. And no, stuff. it doesn't. It's to do with how they changed how pistons and push plays with blocks got changed. So now it will just suffocate you instead of pushing you up. That sucks. Anyway, just... For some reason, I can't remember why I grew all these jungle trees. <laughs> oh, I like how your, your uh, beacon's purple. Yep. Alright, where's next on the agenda? Well, just explain the sort of stuff around here and what I'm doing with it. Um, This little area was just built to house storage stuff because on this server a total of three times I've had creepers blow up next to my chests. This I got annoyed and built a wall with creepers. I got annoyed and built a wall around it and it's just ended like that. This isn't a permanent structure. Looks pretty good though. Then you got all the obvious farms. All these cobblestone walls and the clay and stuff is just leftovers from one of what man well what the pigs pranks. Yeah he, he... You, you do end up with a lot of surplus with resources from those pranks. Uh, um, that This house is just sort of the start of what this the build in this area is going to be. It's going to be a very fancy themed setting with uh, fancy villages and stuff all around. I actually designed that in survival. Didn't do a test and create it at all. That's pretty cool. It looks great. And then, yeah. Although, for some reason, it, you're missing a block. Where? There's a ladder going up to it and it just... Oh, right, yeah. I don't know why that's missing. <laughs> Whoa, Fix wow. it later. There we go. If you look towards the mountain... I can't see it from here. Let's go to the mountain. I did catch it earlier, so if you were watching carefully, you would see it. I like your pack of wolves. It's going to be a bit of a... It's going to be a bit of a climb. I got pearls on me. Good. Well, three pearls on me. Hope you have a weapon. Yeah. That's it, mobs. Hit me up. There we go. Where'd you go? I'm right behind you. Unfortunately, I'm not the best at climbing your mountain. Yeah. Can you pearl up, or do you have to go up by water? No, <laughs> you need the water. You can't pl throw a pearl that high. Just glad... Oh, I'm not wearing that armor. That's not good. Uh, oxygen. The the uh, water armor doesn't work too well in climbing this. Yeah, no, I've noticed that with when the last time we went past here. <laughs> anyway, you come up to the lovely sky garden. Here we go. Ring. Oh wow, you can have a, one of those flying machines. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm just going to fill it with like fantasy slime stuff and more islands connecting. If well, anyone's I seen... I'm going with the whole flying stuff at the moment, so I think I if, should try and build if, something. If anyone's seen the any of the tools for the previous server world, put a link here, um, you'll notice I built an island with a chain connecting it to the ground. It's oh, yeah, going to be based... It's basically going to be that build, but finished. So it's going to be multiple islands chained together and then attached to the, the ground. Pretty cool. Got to now go find a server tour video with that in. Um, Alright, what we got in here? Just a empty house at the moment then. Yeah, it's just... It's not meant to be filled with anything. It's just an empty house for the purposes of the garden. Maybe the information booth. <laughs> yeah, I could put some books and stuff in there. And then I'm just going to have like random flying machines and all that general good stuff. I like it. And that's that's it for around here. There's just the other place to go to. Alright, we'll catch you guys at the other place. Hey guys, we're now at Red's second place. So, where are we? Well, we're at the desert where I originally started setting up. And I'm just going to show you ah. well what I'd started doing and what might become here. I don't know if I might completely abandon this area or not yet. I do like the way you've done the road bit here, this path. Yeah. Anyway, down here, see this little pillar here? Ooh. That's just the marker for the skeleton farm, which someone had a bit of a... Accident? Someone annoyed me with it. I wouldn't call it an accident, it was done on purpose. Basically, it's pressure plates on there, which activates pistons that kills the skeletons, and someone destroyed all the pressure plates. And then destroyed some of the glass, letting all the skeletons out. That's... that's a dumb idea. Yeah. Anyway, this is just going to be a road going to... Uh, you have, like, the barn. Again, here's the other wall I built, just to make sure creeps don't blow up my chests. But yeah, this is just going to be like a, um... Have you got chicken like savanna. No. My frame rate dropped. This was just going to be like a savanna safari adventure type thing I'm going to build over there. And then easy clay access there. I do like it. It will have. I, I don't know if I will do that or abandon it yet. There is, a, there is a tunnel somewhere near here to get to a spider spawner. I can't remember where it is. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. Oh, hey, oh yeah, that. Oh, forgot about this. The helix. Oh yeah. Tell this us about the helix. Is, the helix is actually going to be built all the way up to um, build height. Is or was? It's going to be. That is the one thing I'm going to finish around here. It's going to go all the way up to build height, and it's just going to be, um, yeah, just for the sake of it. You're going to go all the way down as well, or? I might go down to Bedrock as well with it. That'd be pretty cool. And I might have a few of them popping up all over the place. Make it some sort of weird infection. Also, I'm currently working on building a sewer system. Yes, yes, we have seen, uh, if you've watched the prank video on What the Pigs channel. Um, yeah. You got pranked. I had a bit of an accident. It's not my fault. <laughs> Don't kill me. Anyway, anyway that's about it. Alright, All right, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you, Mr. Resmus, for giving us our tour. Uh, we're going to catch you guys tomorrow with another episode. We're almost finished with the tour, so um, I'm looking forward to getting to the building again. I'm Lefiz. I'm Resmus. And bye-de-bye.